Hello and welcome to today's LOLE Sports Roundup. We're going to preview tomorrow's series in MSI 2023 Loser Bracket, G2, and BLG. Um, they've never played before. Uh, so this is going to be the first time because BLG have never been to an international event before this one. However, there are a couple past crossovers where we have seen players play each other. And because this video won't be very long, I figured I would put both down. So at Worlds 2022, Caps and Yagao faced off twice. Yagao was then with JDG. This was in group stage. JDG would win both games. Uh, Yagao, however, would go 6, 9, and 11 in those two with 530 damage per minute. Compared to Caps, who went 7, 7, and 8 for 465 damage per minute and on average was ahead 22 CS. You may say to yourself, that's quite a gap. Well, when you look closer at it, one game was even. The other game, Caps gapped Yagao in laning phase by over 40 CS at 15 minutes. Um, I don't know if Caps has it in him this year. Uh, Caps has left a lot to be desired. Um, he has really struggled, in my opinion, as he's taken a backseat to Yike this uh, you know, early ha first half of 2023. Um, so, how's that matchup going to go? I mean, Yagao kind of has to play similarly for Sean. I think BLG and G2 are pretty similar teams, um, actually, in how that they how they play. The jungles are carry oriented. The top laners are very electric. Bin is better than BB, which we'll get into in a second. But um, you know, BB has looked good this this tournament uh speaking of that matchup they faced off in msi 2022 rng uh obviously winning it all bin being their top laner uh g2 and rng would split in rumble stage both top laners having a negative kd broken blade going 3 7 10 390 damage per minute um his two champions picked vladimir and riven um, once again, if you think back to how he's played the last week, very eccentric picks out of him. Bin went 589, 394 damage per minute on average up to CS. Um, I think it was a wash one in favor one game, the other, the other. So, um, um, you know, in terms of laning, neither one really opened up uh, a diff quite like Caps did in that one game against Yagao. Um, JDG being the better team than G2 last year. So JDG winning despite Yagao is not a shock to me. A lot of people want to give Yagao credit for those sort of things. But when he loses by 40 CS, I think we all have to admit that he 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 was uh, playing for G2 when he was down 40 CS at um, 15 minutes. Now this matchup as a whole, like I said, I think that the jungle mid duo, very similar. Uh, jungle is better at a carry. Um, champion like uh, Yike obviously has shown that this early on in his career he is very very dominant on carries. Shun, Nidalee, and Kindred of course being the two champions people want to give him credit for. I think you should leave them both up personally. I'm not afraid of either but what are you going to do? Bot lane, uh, Han Sama and Elk. I do definitely give that to Elk. Uh, Mickey and An, I give it to Mickey. So the bot lane should be very interesting. And then top lane, I do give it to Ben. So um, this matchup's going to be a thing. Um, I think between the two, East versus West, uh, loser bracket matchups, I would argue that this one's probably better than C9 Gen G. Um, but uh, G2, G2 might need a little bit of help. So we'll see. Um, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Uh, follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, participate in the uh, voting we're doing for the Hall of Fame of the Discord, where we go over the players to enter into the Hall of Fame. Uh, the first round is already done, and I will be making videos about that after MSI next week. Um, the second round of players is in its final voting stage. We have decided on the 16 to go forward with. Um, you know, the 16 players that you can choose six from to uh, be in the second class. So if you're not on the Discord or if you are and don't really pay attention to it and you would like to participate in that, check the rules and process uh, 
category within the channel or the channel within the category for the Hall of Fame and um, participate. So that's that. Become a YouTube supporter, and I hope to see you again tomorrow.